if you've been overwhelmed and frustrated with the handling your finances because you have tried all kinds of budgeting methods that you've read and watched online, but none of them still seem to work, then this video is for you because we're gonna dive into outdated budgeting methods that you don't need to force yourself into following anymore and what you can do instead. Let's get into it. Let's dive into the most controversial and most common budgeting method that you have already tried and probably have seen so many times. It's the 50-30-20 budgeting rule or the 70-20-10 budgeting rule. If you've been struggling to follow this method wherein 50% of your income goes to your needs, 30% your wants, and 20% for savings, let me tell you why because you don't have to anymore it's simply because our priorities and life stages vary this strict percentages won't apply to every single person every single person let's say in their early 20s mid 20s early 30s or someone who's a breadwinner or someone who's living by themselves or someone who is living with their parents or someone who's finally investing in a property or someone who just started working or someone who just started their business all of their percentages would really vary because they have different priorities in life i have coached several filipino professionals coming from different life stages and i don't recommend this method and i don't force them into being in a box in a strict percentages because it's not sustainable in the long run simply put your finances is not a one-size-fits-all approach our personal finances are meant to be personalized for our lives for a reason. As a money mindset coach, I've seen different clients come to me from different stages. May it be clearing out their debts, may it be finally moving out from their parents' house, or finally starting their dream business, or maybe they've been into business and they're finally going to expand or scale their business, or they're finally going to invest in the property they've always wanted. All of those priorities and stages and goals would require a personalized way of handling your finances. That's why this 50-30-20 rule would not work for everyone because every single person has a unique financial situation, unique version of what their priorities are, unique version of what freedom looks like to them. Each of those stages would require a personalized amount of allocation for savings, expenses, investments. That way, you can truly be firm and be clear on what to truly prioritize that would allow you to fast track your own personal life goals. That's why instead of forcing yourself within the strict percentages, what you really need is a personalized and tailor fit solution based on your life stage goals and priorities. That's why I personally coach my clients in getting crystal clear first on what their life goals are, what their version of financial freedom is, and then from there, I help them customize a financial system that is tailor fit to their goals, to their income situation, to their priorities. That way, it becomes exciting to stick to it rather than force to do it like it's a burden and a chore. That's why inside my coaching program, I guide my clients with my sustainable income split when it comes to customizing their financial system where they learn how to spend and save sustainably, where they're able to balance enjoying the fruits of their labor now while feeling secure that they're saving enough for their future. We do not follow any strict budgeting rules or percentages, no. What I help them with is how they can really feel good about a customized system that is both flexible and structured enough to stick to that way they get to have a clear concrete path knowing that their finances will lead them to funding their goals one by one because all these strict percentages did not work for me that's why i created my own it's called the simplified financial system on autopilot that i guide my clients with inside my programs they're able to allocate the expenses savings and investments customized to them in under 15 minutes twice a month and they're confident and done and that's why i love that okay fine i went through the trial and error of trying all these outdated budgeting methods that did not work for me but that's okay because now i get to learn and apply all those things that did not work and now create a system that is finally proven and tested for my clients to follow and at the same time i get to guide them in customizing this according to their income to their priorities to their roles and responsibilities so that it's flexible enough for their situation but at the same time there is structure that is easy to follow with this system 
you can watch this video with my client Rix who went through my process inside my coaching program where she started with struggling as the person who's like the circle to so bibilhin ko to type of a person like she was deep into her impulsive purchases and after I guided her with the right system that is customized to her role as a mom as a freelancer and eventually she became the breadwinner when I helped her in customizing a financial system based on her role based on her responsibilities and also based based on her desires and goals that's when she was able to finally be excited to save consistently to feel empowered as the main sole provider of her family then at the same time she was able to travel more she went to Baguio with her family she just booked tickets to Hong Kong to treat her family and it's just I love sharing these stories to share with you that it's so 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 possible that you get to have a system that allows you to be excited to save consistently for your future goals and at the same time enjoy the fruits of your labor now and know that you can treat yourself in a responsible way and at the same time you don't feel like saving is a chore or is a burden rather you feel empowered that you get to make wise money decisions because you have a system that is tailor fit to you if you want to learn how I can coach you through this as well with a tailor fit roadmap and system for you to stick to saving consistently to break your unhealthy spending habits so you could finally be confident and funding your life milestones one by one then you can check the link in my bio for my five month coaching program fund your freedom this is where i guide you with a 15 minute simple financial system that is tailor fit to you that will lead you to achieving your emergency fund while at the same time spending guilt-free enjoying the present and just having the peace of mind that you are allocating your funds in the most balanced way may it be for your leisure goals for your career goals and know that you have the peace of mind that you're able to create a balance with allocating your funds that you're able to balance fun and security because you have a financial system that is customized to your goals your needs and financial situation get inspired with the testimonies from my clients on my website as well you can visit coachingwithnick.com if you just want to get inspiration of what's possible when you have a system a financial system that is tailor fit to you or if you want to chat more if my system my roadmap would also work for you then you can also book a free assessment call through my website you're just going to complete my assessment enrollment form through my website and then from there I will reach out to you on how we can schedule a call together so I could better understand your financial situation your financial goals and see if I am truly the right coach to help second outdated budgeting method that I've thrown out the window is tracking every single expense daily yes I once thought that in order for me to stop impulsive buying for me to control myself from spending a lot for me to feel like I'm financially responsible that I need to constantly be aware of every single thing that's going out and in my bank account from everything I ate in merienda and everything that I, I bought in grab and it was just too much like it doesn't work because it's too time consuming and if it's too time consuming it's not something that you're going to stick to in the long run if your finances feel like it's time consuming it's gonna feel like a burden so if it feels like a burden you're gonna forget about it you're gonna be frustrated and you're gonna be too lazy and give up on tracking it clients come to me from that frustration that they're like i'm slaving an hour a day tracking my expenses or i'm also consuming hours from my weekends thinking about my finances tracking every single expense micromanaging everything when i would rather be resting or i would rather be focused on being present with my family but rather i'm constantly worried about did i spend it right or did i save enough and truly as an adult you're already juggling so many responsibilities right like you're thinking about how you're gonna excel in your career you're gonna think you're thinking about your family you're thinking about your household responsibilities and adding daily expense tracking and constant micromanaging of every peso in your bank account is the last thing you'd want to think about and that's why when i coach my clients my financial system that i guide them with only takes 15 minutes twice a month and they're done they don't need to look at their trackers and jot on every expense every single day because that creates the mindset that you need to police yourself you need to like oops scrub the budget it's like para kang, you're constantly reprimanding yourself you're constantly in a way restricting yourself and so as a result you're not really enjoying your money rather 
money is in control of you and you don't have the peace of mind of spending on things that do matter or that you're saving enough and so it defeats the purpose of managing your finances if managing your finances make you feel burdened make you feel anxious make you feel more worried then it's not really serving you that's why when i coach my clients with a financial system that is simple effective tangible and tailor fit to them it's not just about i can finally save consistently that's the byproduct it's more of like finally i get to take back the hours of my life that i have wasted tracking every expense and yet still worrying about it they can finally replace that money anxiety with peace of mind knowing that they have a solid and sustainable financial system that they're able to stick to where they're able to spend guilt-free and have the security that they're saving enough for the future as well they finally have the mental capacity to think about the dreams and desires that have always been at the back of their heads because when you think about the mental space that you consume when you're constantly tracking expenses worrying about your expenses micromanaging every purchase that you make that is mental space that is consuming you so much when it could have been spent relaxing on weekends or thinking about how to pivot in your career that you've always wanted or thinking about just being present with your family and treating them without feeling guilty without worrying about it like these are the things that are costing you when you're focused on micromanaging expenses and tracking expenses when you don't have to Another example is my client Jamie when she came to feeling so anxious about how to balance her finances well because she realized that she would constantly dip back into her savings when she would overspend and all that. And so when I guided her with a proper management system and the right mindset in handling her money, she realized that she now is more at peace and relaxed with managing her finances she knows what to spend on she knows how much to save up for and more importantly she shared that because she's not in that money anxious bubble anymore around her finances she had the mental capacity and mental space to finally expand her small business and those are the opportunities that could be lost on us when we're stuck in the anxiousness and the worrisome mindset around our finances like we are lost on these opportunities that excite us more that ultimately allows us to enjoy our life and live our best life and isn't that what our finances should be for and the third outdated budgeting method that i've thrown out the window is the no spend challenge because if you can relate to me who has been into the deep cycle of impulsive buying or yo-yo saving or restricting yourself or it still doesn't work, then this is for you. Maybe for some people it works, but then if it doesn't work for you, know that you are not alone because you don't have to keep forcing yourself to extend not spending on yourself or not buying the things that you want because this no spend challenge or no buy challenge, I realize it just creates the mindset of like, I can't enjoy. I need to restrict myself if I want to save and it's just not sustainable it's just not sustainable like eventually you're gonna relapse you're gonna think like i've saved so much already for the past three months therefore i think it's about time that i spend on myself and then when you do spend on yourself you end up spending more than than what you saved so parang wala rin parang yung na no spend challenge months mo just end up going to waste because parang naipon naipon yung pagka deprive mo so when the opportunity comes that you feel like you're gonna treat yourself you relapse too much and you go back into the cycle again of impulsive buying retail therapy and so on the no spend challenge also creates the mindset that like you cannot be trusted like if you want to save consistently you better not spend parang ganun yung energy and it's just it's just not healthy for me like what i want is that i can trust myself that i know how to spend on what matters that i know how to make wise money decisions and i know how to save consistently and be at peace with it that's the mindset that i want to have and when i coach my clients on this as well they realize it's way more sustainable it's way more exciting it's way more at peace you know when you manage your finances and because i believe the most sustainable way of managing your finances is having self-trust if you're able to trust yourself with your decisions that's the most sustainable way of managing your finances no budgeting app or no amount of spent no spend challenge months will compensate for having trust in yourself 
that's why I love coaching my clients in building that self-trust and self-confidence in themselves that they know how to make wise money decisions so that after my program, they don't feel like they need to depend on me or they need to be reprimanded or kailangang pagalitan sila to stick to the right money habits. No, because we are adults, right? And what I love guiding my clients with is that they get to feel confident in themselves that, yeah, after this program, I'm definitely so excited to stick to my financial system. I'm excited to save consistently. And at the same time, I'm excited to spend on myself, to prioritize funding my dreams. Because for me, that's what allowed me to overcome the cycle of impulsive buying, the cycle of depriving myself and then relapsing again. That's what I love that one of my clients said, Grace, she shared that my program is the antidote for all of the shopaholic tendencies and limiting beliefs around money. And it's like the time machine of skipping all of the years of trial and error and finally having a financial system that is customized and tailored fit to you. And I think she said it so perfectly. And honestly, I am so, so, so proud of all my clients who decide to trust in me as their coach and eventually trust in themselves that they're now able to make wise money decisions and they're confident that they're able to handle their money wisely after developing the right mindset and systems around money through our coaching together. If you want to get inspired by more success stories of my clients who were able to overcome their unhealthy spending habits, money anxiety, and now able to be confident in funding their life milestones one by one, you can check this playlist of my client success stories. You're definitely bound to find one that you can really really resonate with because there are there's like a variety of people with different life stages life priorities and income as well and you can watch how they were still able to get the sustainable financial system after coaching together and now they just feel more financially at peace and confident so watch those videos and i will see you there